Good morning traders, welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a wonderful week. I hope you're all profiting from these videos because uh, you can see the accuracy from, the, from these videos and uh, if you really want to verify, you can go as far back as two or three years back from these videos and watch each and every one of them and you'll see how accurate they are. And obviously what I'm doing here is forecasting and forecasting is simple. That's why you can see that we get about 90 to 95% of the uh, setups correct here, uh, forecast correct here. Uh, but there is a trading strategy over and above this Elliott Wave theory that I'm presenting here on week in week out and that is that is the part that is challenging for most the timing of the market is absolutely critical i can go on over or you can give me any chart at any time right now and do analysis or focus and it will be correct but you may find that that move actually goes and you still didn't make profit out of it okay so for example euro euro new zealand which we're going to look at on uh, trade recaps now uh, you you you, you know that the market is coming down and you find that as a lot of you have been watching this video I've been analyzing this pair for the last uh, month or so but you're still not making profit out of it but you can see it's coming down and you're still missing it and you'll be surprised a thousand later thousand pips later you didn't make a cent out of it so it doesn't matter knowing the direction of the market you need to understand the timing all right so Let's look at this video. So if you want to, there to do that uh, and also to verify some previous videos, it's easier because we've got timestamps on most of the videos. Unfortunately for the past, uh, the, uh, from, uh, from uh, about May or so, I didn't have timestamps until back in uh, January. But uh, for everything else, you can go back to all the videos and you'll find timestamps. So how does, how does this help you? So for example, if you wanna see how I've been analyzing Euro New Zealand for the past two years, you can just go to Euro New Zealand on each and every video and just, and just track it because uh, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, you, you have to see it for yourself. I don't have to uh, speak for myself. It's all there out for everybody to see how we do this. So what are we, what are we doing here is an application of the theory. So I get a lot of uh, messages from uh, people saying they're learning a lot from the videos. Um, but my take is you cannot really learn enough from what I'm giving you here because I'm not giving you the basic principles. I'm giving you the end product. I'm giving you the application. It's like going to watch an action movie. When you were young, you'd watch an action movie. And after that, you'd want to go and try whatever you've watched at home or try to practice it. If it is a Kung Fu movie, you want to try and watch and, and apply that Kung Fu on your own. But how good are you with that Kung Fu just after watching that movie? It's exactly the same here. You watch my videos here. Uh, you think you're learning something and you go and apply it. It's like, it's like one of those, don't try this at home. And especially don't try it with real money, with money. Because you cannot watch a video here with uh, end product, it's an application, and you don't have the basic principles and you don't want to put in your money in there. So don't do that. Please learn the right way first and be confident, confident with the theory. All right, so talking about learning, we are going to be hosting our next course from the 5th of August. So from the 5th August of August to the 15th of August, uh, our next course is uh, gonna be on. So for more details on the course, I'll look out for my contact details and the description of all of my videos, uh, preferably in this order, my, on my email or using the mobile number whether it's on telegram or whatsapp uh, you can contact me through those methods so the telegram uh, telegram channel where i post the uh, live webinar links as well as my trading view so don't post uh, inquiries on trading view because i hardly check that inbox on trading view so my email my whatsapp or uh, which is my or my telegram mobile number so you can contact me through any of those methods all right so what what we also what we, I want to show you guys what we do and the benefit of what how this helps. It's not only trade setups. I, I showed you trade setups in the recap um, last week and how that played out. So 
what is also of benefit, which is something that I'm trying to give myself time to do, is, for example, if you're a waiver, you want to have analysis in different, in different time frames, right? So, for example, if you want pound US dollar, you'll find that we've got traders on pound US dollar. I'm using, we're using Slack as our platform. Uh, this is something that I'm trying to give myself time to do so, so that we can have at least different time frame analysis. So, for example, we'll have the weekly, daily for our, sometimes the one hour, but mostly up to the four hour because once you get the four hour, you know the direction of the market in the shorter time frame as well. So, what you see here is a pound US dollar weekly analysis. So, once you know where the market is going on the weekly, Going down to the lower time frame is easy. So we're gonna look at this chart again when we do market analysis studies, if I don't forget. So if you remember what we're looking at at PAN, we're looking at this expanding flat and we're looking for this to come down. You saw that on the trade recaps last week that we took the trade right here uh, at the top coming down, trying to focus to come down here. The anticipation is that if we're gonna bounce from here, we make this corrective structure here again, and then we make this one again. So you see here, we've got this one here, if you follow the purple, let's just follow the purple. If you follow the purple, we'll simply have one, two, three. Okay, so that is the weekly analysis. And it's not that simple. So what you guys are seeing here, uh, let's go to the next time frame here, that's the daily. What you guys are seeing here is this. You're only seeing here this part when I come here and do the analysis that you're gonna be looking for, the, co the corrective structures that you're gonna be looking at for continuation. Especially now that we are on a downtrend, it's easier. I just come here and give you a 30 seconds, one minute analysis on a pair. Okay, so what you don't see is this whole structure. But those that have been watching the video, we went through this corrective structure step by step as it was playing out until we got this drop. Okay, so you can watch videos from, let's just see where this was happening, 2018, 2017, you'll see us forecasting this, looking at this, look at the purple, look at the purple. If you look at the purple, you'll see that we've got this as a W, this running flat as an X, and we got this Y here to come here, AB based pattern in the direction changed. Okay, so what you, what you have here is on each and every channel, this is what I'm gonna try to do here, even for, for the members in the group, you would have four different charts pinned. So to access this, you just go to the pinned chart on that channel, you click, you'll find my pinned charts, you'll find my day, weekly, daily, and the four hour. I'll try to at least post two, I mean, three charts per, per channel. Um, also, we're gonna look at Bitcoin, but you'll see, you'll see the Bitcoin channel. So all the cryptocurrencies that we look at here are also gonna be there, are also gonna be pinned here. So this, this should not be here. So we've got Bitcoin here. We're gonna look at Bitcoin and how that is going. And you'll find all of those pinned at the top. The reason why I pinned that is that members, every, every member that is discussing this chat, this uh, uh, pair in this channel will be posting their chats. So it is for ease to find my analysis. Not that it's better than any of my uh, traders uh, because we look at the market the same way. So you'll find that 90% of the time, 90% of the time we are looking at the market in the same way. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the recap of uh, some of the previous, some of the pairs that we looked at two weeks back. I'm not gonna go through everything as we've already wasted a lot of time here. Um, but just uh, finally about the course, uh, the course I said it's gonna be in August, but that course is recorded on videos. So that means the day that you sign up, you get access to the videos, you start watching, and when we do the course in August, you're already done with the course and you can only just be asking questions live. live. So that helps, so you can learn as soon as you sign up. It's a full 10 videos that you have to go through. I think it's over 20 hours worth of uh, video material that you have to go through for the course. And that helps you because when you actually get to the live course, you get a chance to interact and ask questions. All right. So let's get started. Uh, let's look at uh, trade setups and uh, look at some of the pairs that we looked at uh, two weeks back and uh, how that has been playing out. Let's look at trade setups. And that is all available for members in, in this channel. So I'm gonna start first with uh, Euro New Zealand. 
we've been talking Euro New Zealand for the longest time. So let's just go through the process and how we looked at Euro New Zealand. I showed you last week that we've been looking for this to drop for a while now. Even when it, were here, when it was here, it did this and then it came down here. We did expect that it might go one up before coming before coming down. So that has happened. We've gone up and then we've, we're coming down now. So all you do with Euro New Zealand, and I showed you why there's correlation, clear correlation between this Euro New Zealand and Euro Chief. Uh, Euro Chief has already played this move. Euro Chief has already played this move. I showed you this move on Euro Chief. It has already played. So this one is lagging Euro Chief. Go watch Euro Chief. Uh, we'll actually review this again when we look at Euro New Zealand analysis. So this is when you're trying to get the trade here. Let's get this one on here. This is when we're trying to get the trade here, even though we did expect it was gonna push up higher and come down. This was, this was already back in June, on, in June. All right. Uh, so I sent an update of all these pests. Let's have a look at which one is this. This is Euro New Zealand. So this is after the breakdown and this is on it was coming down. So you can see how this has played out. So let's go look at Euro New Zealand, the current chart. Current Euro New Zealand chart, see how that is playing out. Euro New Zealand just keeps on dropping. Okay. So took it up here. I'm going to show you what happened here. So this was the second update during the week. We expected it to drop here, but it made a double. I'll explain that when we look at market analysis. So we still want this to keep coming down. So you see here, every time you get a corrective structure, this is going to keep coming down. If this breaks below this, and this is not because this is a support or resistant area, no. It's because it's a structural area. If we drop below this, it's going to go all the way. So we're going to look at that when you do market analysis. Don't want to do market analysis now. I'm just doing a recap of the trade. So you can see this is where we took this one here and it's still coming down, right? So that's Euro New Zealand. Let's look at maybe two or three more on trade setups. So pound, pound JPY. Actually got this one from the blue box. If you remember, I showed you that we're going to be selling from the blue box, went into the blue box, updated, and it has dropped. And it, yeah, last week I was making this corrective structure. Go check your charts, and we're looking for this to drop. Obviously, we have not reached this target as yet. It is actually busy making another corrective structure here. Should drop again. We will reach that target. Uh, so you can go have a look at that. Maybe let's just quickly look at the current live chart on uh, pound uh, yen. Pound yen, this is how it is playing out. Okay, that is the corrective structure. So this way it dropped from the blue box, we sold. Last week it was making this corrective structure, it has dropped, but it is, looks like it may it might make another double here, this, and then come down. That There's nothing wrong with that at all, but we'll update that. So that is how that is playing out. Let's look at some more, maybe pound US dollar, pound US, let's look at pound US dollar. Let's look at pound US dollar. We looked at pound US dollar as well. This is Euro JPY. Let's look at Euro JPY. Euro JPY, we expected that it was going to make this corrective structure. It is also dropping. Okay, so it has not reached the target as yet, but we still expect the drop. Let's look at the current Euro, Euro yen. Euro yen setup. Let's have a look there. Okay, so that is continuing like that. So this was the setup here on the one hour. This was last week, during the week, making this corrective structure. So now we look for this one to keep dropping, hopefully to get to that target. It has already invalidated that uh, the second, this was the second entry in last week, not the week before. All right, so that is a uh, Euro Yen. Let's have a look at some more. So all these are found under the trade setup channel uh, chief jp chief jpy we looked at this to correct and drop it still has not dropped it still has not dropped it is still going like this it's still going like this go check your charts okay that is a uh, chief jpy uh, let's see here us dollar pound pound us dollar so pound us dollar has started a pullback around here before reaching the target Okay, has not reached the full target as yet. It has actually done this, we've got that drop, but uh, it has not fully reached yet, it's up to this level. So let's just quickly have a look at the current pound US dollar chart. Let's look at pound US dollar. 
you can see it has dropped from the from the entry point here. So there was the entry point here, another entry point here. It has dropped, but did not quite reach the target as yet. We still expect it to go all the way down. Okay, missed the target by a few pips. That's fine. Okay, should actually perfect, uh, uh, protect some profits there or move to break even if you don't want to lose this trade. You're not going to lose this trade. This has already played out. Okay, so that was pound, US dollar. And there's a whole lot more. Just don't want to waste time going through all this setup. So this was two weeks back. And there's an update of all of these pairs. Uh, this is New Zealand, uh, New Zealand Yen. So New Zealand Yen has just made a bigger sideways structure. Go check your charts. You'll find that it has made a structure like this. Now we're still look, waiting for this one to drop. It is a bigger structure, which you need to understand as well. So we'll look at that when we do a market analysis. analysis just now. Okay, so that is uh, New Zealand Yen. Right, so gold, I'm gonna update gold. I'm gonna update gold. All right, so I'm still expecting that gold will push higher. So do not be, do not, do not panic just because it is going sideways. This is what the gold has done so far. We still want this to uh, push to the upside. So somebody asked me, why do I think it's gonna go all the way up? You'll see as we do market analysis, uh, why I expect it to go to push higher. So let's just uh, see here under gold, under the gold chart, I've got a long-term gold chart here, just to give you a quick view of what we expect of gold to do. So we are current, we are at current levels. This is a daily chart. So what I was showing you here is that this is simply going sideways. We expect this to go into the blue box. From there, we should get a reaction on gold. Okay, so this is the full gold chart. That is the full gold chart on the daily. So that's, you can take a screenshot of that and go study it at your own time. So we're looking for the gold to finish this correction, push one up, and then it will have reached where we want it to go. All right. And this is the lower time frame on gold. This is the four hour on gold. You can see we are looking for this A, B, C structure. We forecasted that this was gonna push higher from here. Okay, so we've been going up from here on gold. So we are still looking at this sequence to keep con going higher. So we're gonna look at this when we do market analysis and what is happening here in this structure. And then we look for clues as to when this breaks to the upside. All right, guys, I think we've uh, spent uh, enough time here. So this is my two charts. They're all pinned under the gold chart, so it's easy to find them. Uh, and you'll see that members post their views as well in this chat. So this one is uh, posting on a, on a 60 minute, which is what we ex we're all expecting. We've got that drop back to the downside. So we're looking at the, the market in the same way. So these are people that have attended the course that are in our group. All right, so let's get started with market analysis. All right, I uh, hope that inspires you. All right, uh, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna look at uh, the cryptocurrencies. Let's start with the cryptocurrencies. We'll start with Bitcoin. Right, Bitcoin. So I didn't take off, I didn't take off the analysis from last week here. And if you look at uh, last week's video, if I just go to Bitcoin quickly, let's see here. Um, let's see Bitcoin. Just give it a minute or so to look at Bitcoin. So this was Bitcoin last week. Just look at what we were expecting. I'm playing last week's video, guys. So right, so this is what we, this is what we have from last week. This is my video from last week. So how did this play out now? So you didn't get this move to the downside. Instead, it just corrected, it, it just continued from here. So which meant that this was all the correction that it needed to do. So that is that happens when you're forecasting, right? So this is the correction. You expected that it was gonna make a zigzag, double, but it just made a single one and pushed higher. So if you look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin, how it has played in the week, it has just kept going here like this. And now where is it going? I said it was gonna break below 
the 9,000 are like this, and then it was going to push higher. So you can see you focus so many, uh, a number of moves ahead because you, you know how the cycle, when you understand how the cycle moves, you are able to focus the number of waves ahead. So what is happened now? We are around this area. We're expecting that it was going to, it was going it to, it's going to keep dropping. At least maybe break this low before it goes higher. Now, this is what you guys are seeing on the weekly basis. What you don't see is this what I've just shown you on Slack now. So let's have a look at why we're looking at that as just a corrective structure and expecting it to push higher. Let's go to the Bitcoin uh, channel here. Bitcoin channel. So this is why. So this is my view on this. I'm going to show you now. Let's look. Let's follow the red here. We'll follow the red. I'm looking at this as a one, impulsive wave. One, one, two, three. This I'm looking at the wave four and I'm looking for a wave five here. And lower degree, I'm showing you the structure now. One, two, three, running flat wave four and five. So this is why I'm expecting that this will drop slightly, at least break the low here and push higher. Okay, so that is the expectation on Bitcoin. So this is the part that you guys do not see because we don't have time to go through all the pairs and go through historical analysis because historical analysis is very important. You cannot just come and label one swing. So this is not a part of one swing. It is a part of the whole cycle. And this is the whole cycle. If you look in the daily, your cycle looks like this one, like this here. It's not even, it's not even a full cycle on the daily so this is your whole cycle here okay all right this is not even the more the detail so if you go down to the low four hour and lower time frame then you'll see more detail so we're looking for this one to be correcting from 2018 has been correcting and from uh the, around the beginning of 2019 started the move to the upside okay so we did not get this move up until here Okay, we only got the move from here. Does it matter that you missed all of this? Doesn't matter because now you're riding all of this and it should continue to the upside. The advantage of taking it here is that you are now almost certain that the move is gonna be, it's gonna go in your direction. It is highly probable from there. So it didn't get this move here because I was still expecting that this is what I was still expecting. And this is what you get with the corrective structures and you should be able to manage this. When this was coming up here, I thought it was gonna make this structure make the last move and then push higher okay so it we didn't get this last move but we got it from here and you can go back to the videos and see how we got that now bitcoin what are you expecting let's go for our let's go for our what you can get here is this one to continue to come down here and break below here and push higher you could get this one to be a corrective structure. Just do this and still come down. And still come down. Okay, so that is what you're expecting. Expect this to be a corrective structure or if you get a corrective structure here, you're coming down and then you're gonna look to push it up higher. So the trend is still up, it is just correcting. And as I've shown you, we're looking at this as a way four, And then we look for this one to push higher. That's as simple as that. Litecoin. Let's go daily. So Litecoin, let's have a look here on the daily. So you also have a impulsive one, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, and a five. So now we're expecting to get some corrective structure here. Let's switch this off. So we're looking for corrective structure. So right now, what you have is a lower degree three way move to the downside. You could get this one to get to this one, two, three, and then push higher. Overall, what you're looking for is a corrective structure. You can see that I'm making a pullback here showing a possible zigzag. It does not have to be a zigzag. So this one does not have to pull back. It can even just go sideways as long as it's making a corrective structure. You've got a pullback here. You can get another pullback here. You can get another one like this here, making, giving you a regular flow. You can see that this is still even smaller. So it can even give you another X here. So you get a W here, X here, and a Y here. But you can see that this long term focused. It may not even do this. So this is a daily. So you could get it. This is a regular in combination with another y so 
that's just long term analysis. So what are we looking at short term? Short term, we're looking to see if we're gonna get any corrective structure here for continuation to the downside here before we push higher. Whether well, it's just gonna make a three wave move like this, this one becomes a three wave move like that and possibly another three wave move like that. So you get one, two, three there and then it pushes higher. You get one, two, three there. So then that becomes your double correction in double zigzag. So it can be a number of ways. So only what you need to understand is when the correction completes, when to take the trade and That is uh, where the strategy comes in. So let's see how this one comes, uh, plays along. So we still have a three wave pull, or three wave down. Let's wait for a corrective structure here or an impulsive move in the opposite direction. That is a light coin. Ethereum has got a similar structure as Bitcoin. Let me see if I've already updated uh, Ethereum here on the chat. I don't know if I have put it on there. Ethereum. Okay, so I did not update our Ethereum. So let's go back there. Um, let's go to Ethereum. So Ethereum, similar structure as Bitcoin. So let's have a look at this one now. So we're looking at this as a five wave move. We sort of got a pulsing move up, core wave two here. And this one could be going for a wave three of uh, wave, wave three, wave three here internally. So we look at that to be making a wave for the same as Bitcoin. And then we look for this to make the last move to the upside before we get a bigger corrective structure. So like Litecoin, this one is making a three wave pullback. It's a three wave pullback. You can see a move down here. Let's show it in the four hour. It's gonna be clearer in the four hour. So you've got an impulsive move down here. You've got a regular flat there. It's a one, it's a two, it's a three wave move to the downside. Is this complete? May push a little bit lower before we push up to, to push higher. Now, how do we label this? If you like putting in letters is A, is B, is C. And here you've got a lower degree uh, wave B here that you can also label as an A, A, B. This actually cannot be an A, B, C move. It's actually a double X, Y move because it's three waves there, three waves there, and three waves there. W, X, Y in the lower degree, and that is your regular flat, and then coming down here. The higher degree is an A, B, C move. We're looking for this one to drop slightly, complete the move, and then push higher. That, if it, that is if it doesn't make a double. All right, so that is Ethereum. Ripple, Ripple is very interesting. Let's look at the uh, daily, on the daily on Ripple. Okay, so if you look at, uh, on, at Ripple daily, very interesting structure you've got. Simply here, three waves, move, three wave move to the downside. This was the impulsive move that started, with, that ended here with the rest of the cryptocurrencies at the end of 2018. Now you've got that green corrective structure there in three waves. You get a pullback in. This is the anticipation actually, and then you get this one here to come down here like that, and then push up higher. But we're not looking at this for now because the accuracy of this is not uh, it's not good before you get the completion of this corrective structure. So now what we can look at here is this corrective structure. Three waves move down, pulsing move in wave A there. Let's use it. Let's, let's use yellow. You've got a wave A there, and then here in the lower degree, watch the green now. You've got a Let's switch off here. Let's switch off this here. You've got a very nice textbook looking B wave there. Then you get this three wave move to the downside. What you're expecting is another possible three wave move to the downside. So let's make it in single wave. The three waves is for a higher degree. What do we expect? That move. That is why I'm expecting that we're gonna have this as a one, two, three, before we push higher. Let's see here. That is your one correction, possible one, before we push higher. Okay, so now what are we looking for here? We're looking for this one to start completing up to this level here. Previous low. Let's switch on here. We want it to come down to the previous low here. Let's switch off here so you can see with the labelings. Want this one ripple to just come down here and push up higher. Remember when we were here, I was expecting this move now to happen from here. Okay, so I've been I've always been expecting that we're gonna get this pulsing move 
at some point. So it looks like it is not happening at this stage. It is gonna come down here first, and then we're gonna expect that move to the downside. So if we get to this level, we'll be looking for this pulsing move on Ripple. Then you move your, you take your profits from here and then you see what you get from there. All right, so we wait for more information. We look for a new entry and that is how you look at the cryptos. All right, uh, now let's look at the indices, S&P 500. So we are at new highs on the indices, on most of the indices. Let's have a look here. So what you see here is a whole lot of Fibonacci levels and that is what we use to focus our, our levels because we don't use support and resistance in all that stuff. Okay, so let's switch this off here. I'm just going to mark this here. It's an important level, 123 and 1,61. Okay, switch off here. So this 123 and 1,61. So we have broken above the all-time highs here and um, I'm gonna sound like a broken record talking about how we've always focused in and got these ones right. From coming down here, we still expected that it was gonna go up. We got this expanding flat here. Okay, we expected it to go up, it has gone up. And we said we're gonna get to all time highs on the indices. And indeed we are now at new highs, new all time highs untested territory this is moving to the upside now when we got here we said it's going to give a breather it did give a breather to give you another entry and now we're pushing higher so all you do now we we are now above this area so the reason why i've marked these lines is that we've got guidelines to help you project levels for a wave five and that is something that you do in the course so one of the first levels here is that for this to be a valid with five, it has to be at this level minimum. So we can actually get, if this turns here, we can complete and accept this as a wave five. But typically wave fives reverses around this area. Okay, or a reaction at the, around this area. This is the 1,618. Okay, this is the 1.23. Okay, I'm not gonna go into details of this because you, you know, you, you're not gonna get it without the whole background of the Fibonacci theory. So here, a reaction at least typically reverses around this level. What do I mean by typically? Say the same thing when, I say, when we say one, two, three, four, five, and wave four typically retraces around the 38.2, 382 of wave three retracement of wave three. So this is something different. So it's the same thing here when I say typically Typically, it does not mean it's a rule, okay? That is the area where it mostly reverses on observation and on back testing, right? So that's what you're looking at. So now, we, what, do you look, what are you looking at for the next week? Continuation to the patterns to the upside. We're still looking for continuation patterns to the upside, okay? Indices are that simple. You just look for continuation, you just run with the trend, okay? Let's look in the lower time frame for our Uh, let me go one hour rather, maybe. You'll see something of a setup here. And this is how you look at this. If you're trading this in the lower degrees, you just look for these three wave moves. One, two, three, a regular flat and it pushes up higher. You get a flag here and it pushes up higher. So you don't just enter when it's like this, you wait for it to give you an entry point. Okay, you wait for it to give you an entry point. That's what you're looking at. Continuation patterns to the upside. The Dow and the NASDAQ will have the same structure. You can see here, pull back in three waves, flag. Okay, this pullback will not have been uh, a, a good entry. Only this one and this one here, and this one here and two here, three here. So those are your entry points. Whenever you get those pullbacks, that's when you enter. Now the Dow here is got exactly the same structure as the S&P 500. Okay, expanding flat and a push higher. Okay, so, um, I didn't show you on the S&P 500 where that whole analysis comes from. Let's show you. So you can see why we did not panic as it was coming down is because you don't see this. Okay, so you don't see this. Uh, excuse the clutter here. You've got a one, two, three, four, and a five 
in blue that we are still expecting. Now we're looking for this five to complete. Okay, so at some point now it will it will, it will definitely complete, and then we'll look for the big corrective structures. Now even this corrective structure does not mean a crash because all it's going to do is correct this whole move. So the indices are not going to crash anytime soon, guys. Yes, you may rev you may correct with a big move. It may be a big move like that, or it can even just go sideways and not really and not really correct and not, and not really crash like that, something like this. So that we'll see as and when we complete this with five. Okay, so that is the S and P five hundred. So you see, you we need to understand the cycle. If I'm showing you that it's gonna continue to the upside, it means the cycle is not complete. The sequence is still to the same direction. All right, so let's continue. We've done the Dow, let's look at the NASDAQ. It's got a similar structure. Now the NASDAQ has eventually reached also the all-time highs. We're looking for this to push a little bit higher as well. One, two, three, possibly four, five, like that. So let's see how this, how this goes. So the NASDAQ is only this, for a way for. Okay, so keep looking for these corrective structures to the upside. No sign of reversal as yet. Um, Nif not Nifty Nikkei. Nikkei also keeps pushing higher with the rest of the indices. You're looking for this one to at least come and retest this previous high here. It's not all time highs, so corrective structure here. Look for it to go and retest there. So expect the need K to keep going up. Okay, also today I'm showing you overall structures so you can see why we look at these structures like this. You've got a W, X, Y in blue here and we're looking for this to push higher. This one has got a slightly different structure because it can come here and do this and then push higher like that. Okay, this is not an impulsive one, two, three, four, five like you see on the S&P 500, the NASDAQ and the Dow. Okay, so look for continuation patterns for the next week. Uh, DAX, slight pullback there. That could be part of the structure, one, two, three. Uh, now let's look at this here. It looks, this looks like an impulsive move, so you could get here, correct this, and then push higher. I'm not expecting this to go down as yet, so let's look at this. Even if it pushes lower, it will push higher again. Uh, that is the DAX UK 100. UK 100 is a slight pullback here. So you've had this here as a passing move one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's completed. Okay. So, guys, right, so. But this is actually one, two, three, four, five at this point. Initially, we looked at this one to be a five year, expected a corrective structure here, so that after the wave five, we can continue. Let's switch off here and show the whole structure. One, two, three, four, five. I expect a deeper corrective structure here. But we're not sure if the wave five is completed as yet here. So let's see what we get here. Even if you get this to correct here, you can just do this and be the start of the corrective structure. Do that. You get a flat correction and then you get continuation down patterns to the upside. So this obviously has to be related to this. So you've got one, two here, three, four, and a five. So let's see here what we get in the next week. UK 100, uh, that is UK 100. Let's go to the four hour just to see what that structure looks like. At some point, this one will need to give us a bit of a corrective structure. May still continue to the downside, but that will just be a pullback. Okay, we've done the ducks. And uh, lastly, the Nifty. Right, so the Nifty from here, we got this drop from here. We expected it to do that, one, two, three, like that. So it may push for one down here this week. We're actually on the blue box where I expected that it was gonna push up higher. We're still within that blue box. We actually have not tested the blue box yet. Let's see what happens when we test the blue box. Then we can get that push to the upside. Okay, that is a flag there. 
and we have not tested the blue box, so this one can just come in here and it will have completed a one, two, three. Then we expect a push to the upside or at least a reaction from the blue box. Let's see how that goes. All right, that is the nifty and that's all on the indices. Right. So now let's go to the major pairs, the US dollar pairs. Euro US dollar. And now you're seeing a lower, lower degree here. Let's go higher. Show you a bit of detail on Euro US dollar here. So Euro US dollar has got two alternatives. It's got two alternatives. Uh, let's show you the long term view on Euro US dollar. Is a long term view on Euro, Euro US dollar. Those that understand the theory will see that there's a mistake here. This is actually supposed to be a ABC here. There's a reason for that. Okay, right, so let's look at uh, Euro US dollar. I'm gonna look at it just now. So this is your weekly chart on Euro US dollar. So take a snapshot and go study it if you're learning with theory. Let's go to the weekly. I won't do this every week, guys. I'm just showing, this. I'm just showing you for this week so you can see where I'll get this analysis. Now, here is the tricky part uh, with Euro US dollar. You've got two alternatives here. Uh, what we, let me, let's start with what we were looking at in the last week here. So last week, we were looking at this to have completed a wave five here. Let's switch off here. To have completed a wave five and making this as a WXY corrective structure. And then we continue from there. Okay. Now, the other alternative here, when you look in the weekly, let's follow the red. You could have this one as a one, two, three, four, and a five, like this. Now, what is happening here, and we've looked at this before as well, this could be an ending diagonal from wave four, giving you an ending diagonal wave five, that means your wave five, this one should actually be, okay, let's, let's leave it for now. Your wave five completes like this. Now, if you look at this, let's do this together. Let's update together. You see, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, and a five. Okay, we already have a five. One, two, oh, we already. Have, this one should just be a higher degree here. I'm just gonna do this quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just. Change the degree there because that is a lower degree. Let's use that as green. Let's use green there. Lower degree, minute degree. See, that is your, that will be a perfect, perfect ending diagonal in wave five. Now, if that is the case, that means you can have this one as a yellow degree becomes intermediate. A, B, C. So that means you're still going to complete the wave five. Wave five, like that. And then you're going to have a bounce in this degree. Okay? Does not have to bounce like that. It can even go sideways like that. Either way, it will still be an A, and a B, and a C. C. So why did I take the trade? Why did I, why did I give the Euro US dollar trade here last week? It's because you want to complete the wave five. Okay, you guys are getting more than you bargained for this week. So let's get to going. So that is the reason why we're looking at these trades. So these trades are not just looking at one thing and, uh, and you just take the trades from there. So what are we looking at in this week? So in this week, we've got a pullback here in, on Euro US. So let's look at the four hour rather. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, what are we looking at? We're looking for this one to go and give us that wave five. But first it must push higher and then come down. That is your trade for the next week. Okay, from now on we're gonna move quick. 
that is zero US dollar, and that's what you're going to be looking at. Now let's look at US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD is still looking for it to go down into the blue box. Okay, we said we're going to look for this to go into the blue box from right to the top here. It's coming down here. Okay, it's coming down into the blue box. Only at the blue box, we'll see what's going to happen there. That is the target for US dollar CAD, simple as that. US dollar chief. Now, US dollar chief is the opposite of Euro. So you're expecting, if you're expecting the Euro to push a little bit higher this week, this one should push a little bit lower and from there, push it, push to the upside. That's what you look at. Uh, let's go into the four hour here. So that is a three wave move that you saw on the Euro, one, two, three. If it's gonna push a little bit higher, this one should push a little bit lower and then push higher like that. Pound US dollar, I showed you a historical analysis chart here and this is where we took it and this is how it is playing out now. It's not reached the target, we're still looking for it to push to the downside. As I've been saying for the last month or six weeks or something like that, uh, you don't buy the pound. You don't buy the pound pass, you just wait for continuation patterns to the downside. So the, this is still the case because on the daily, we're still looking for continuation patterns to the downside. Okay, so I don't show you all these labelings because it just clutters the chart. So it's important to just understand the structure. So we're still looking for this one to keep continuing to the downside. One expanding flat we're expecting this one to do this okay so that is pound us dollar uh audi audi us dollar this one looked like it was making expanding flat last week this one could still make an expanding flat like this and still drop so for now, just look out for a continuation pattern here, but you shouldn't be taking any trade, especially when we are so close to the uh, structural level here. This one can do this and then drop. Okay, so stay away from uh, Audi US dollar for now. Uh, New Zealand US dollar, the same, exactly the same structure. Look out for this one to keep doing that. We looked at this to, con to go and make an expanding flat last week. We were looking at this to do this. We were here last week and then we expected that we we're gonna have a corrective structure. We did not get the corrective structure as yes, so no confirmation. Even if this pushes up higher like this, it's not reversal, it will still drop like that. Okay, it's not really going anywhere. That is uh, Audi and New Zealand. US dollar are beautiful. It's playing out exactly as we looked at. I showed you from the break of this one here, this structure here, that we're gonna keep going coming down here. Now, I said here on Euro, on, on US dollar Z that we are looking to minimum come back to the 1330s level. But uh, that, that is if this structure does not play out, if this expanding flat does not play out here, which I don't think it will. It will not play out here. And let's look at the higher degree structure and what we're looking at, let's switch off all of this. We're looking for this one to make a1, A2, A3. So the 1330 is just a minimum. It may even do this before we push higher. So let's see how this goes. So for, so for now, it's just continuation patterns to the downside. And clearing this here means that we are the next step, the next level is going to be this one here. Okay, so if you get a continuation pattern around these current levels and a drop, it's going to be coming to the 1330 level. And then we'll see what happens to the 1330 levels. So what? why do I only, target this is because at, at that point, at this point here, if you're getting this one as a two, one, two, three, like that, this one can do that, one, two, three, and then you'll be making this structure, this structure here, this structure here, see? Okay, so it's long-term focus, so that's why you need to understand these cycles over a long, over the number of waves. So let's see if we get a corrective structure here, we're gonna come here. Keep holding if you took it here. It was a beautiful set up there. US dollar czar, and that concludes all the US dollar pairs we've done in pound US dollar. I didn't miss any, so let's look at the yen pairs. Pound yen, you look how we took it from here. We're just looking for continuation patterns. The target we're still looking to get to this level here, back to 130. So it's, if you keep getting continuation patterns here, you're looking to continue to come down here. Okay, so let's have a look at this on the four hour and see what is going on in the lower degree. If you look in the four hour, it looks very interesting. So 
last week we looked at this flag here and that it was going to drop. Instead, it dropped in three waves and pushed up higher. So what we expect is a possibility that can retest here and keep dropping. It will just have simply made a flat correction. That will simply be a flat correction and that will simply be a three wave move to the upside, three wave move back, test here and continue with the drop. Okay. So that's what you're looking at. If you see this to come and retest here, take it like that. All right, the trend is still down. Used to JPY. Now used to JPY, we still updated this in the week. Actually, the trade was from here, if you remember. Okay, there was a trade from here that dropped here and just made this move here. Last week we were here, expected that it was gonna correct and drop. Instead, it makes a double, simple. It makes a double corrective structure. It's a three wave pullback still. It was a three wave pullback in a single degree, in a, in a lower degree, but it made a higher degree, simple as that. Now we're dropping down here in three waves. You get a corrective structure. This one continues to the downside. Look out for the videos that I've done on uh, USD JPY in the last three weeks or four. You'll find the long term view on USD JPY and understand why we're looking for this to continue coming down. So all these pullbacks to the upside, you don't buy them. You just continue to look for sell setups. That is used to like JPY. It's a simple pullback here, three wave pullback here. That's what you have. We're looking for downside here. This is a W, this is an X. Actually, this is an ABC move here. It's an A, B, C, and we're looking for downside. Right, Euro JPY. Euro JPY, I've shown you this under trade setups. Same thing. It made a three wave pullback here. No, not like that. Let's switch this off here. We took Euro from here. Last week I showed you a trade from here on Euro. Let's just check where the trade is from there. Uh, let's find Euro trade under Euro under trade setups. I showed you this from last week. That's Found your dollar, which one is this? This Euro New Zealand, this NZD JPY. I'm looking for Euro, Euro Yen. Let's look for Euro Yen. Oh, how did I get so far back? Euro Yen. Yes, Euro Yen. You can see that we got it from the top here. It's dropped, it's correcting again. Then we're looking for a drop again. So let's look at Euro Yen again here. Let's have a look. Euro yen has now made this structure, this corrective structure. Got it from here, it is making another corrective structure. Any corrective structure here, keep dropping. Okay, simple as that. So many nice setups for this week. All right, that's Euro, Chief JPY. Been looking for this one to drop from here. If you look at the last week and uh, during trade setups as well, uh, we were here looking at this as a one, two, three waves and then expecting it to drop. But it looks like it might even make a deeper one. One, two, three up, one, two, three back, and one, two, three up before we actually drop. Okay, so let's look at this lower degree. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three to the downside, there's a possibility it makes another one, two, three here before we drop. If it does, it's even better for us because we get an entry right at the top. Okay, needs to confirm, hasn't confirmed as yet. Right, so that's Chief JPY, Audi JPY. Audi JPY, I showed you that it simply just went sideways. Okay, it made an impulse move to the upside. Now it's busy making this corrective structure, which is so clear. You've got to move to the downside. And if you follow the green, you'll see that it is a B degree here that does like this, and this can come down here like this. Okay, so after coming down, then you'll expect this. After that, you'll expect this. See, so many waves to the upside. How, how do you label this one? This will be an ABC structure. ABC, ABC. You need to be able to understand this to see where it's going. So let's see if we're gonna get this trade in the next week. 
right that's uh audi jpy newsland has also done the same thing it has gone sideways it was also a trade okay that we needed we wanted to come down so it's a pulsing move to the upside look how similar this is with the audi jpy it is now making this one follow the green one two three expanding flat there possibility of this doing this here let's watch in the next week if we don't get this structure then we'll possibly expect that from that level we start pushing up higher again that is new zealand jpy cat jpy cat jpy not much of a trade there i'll leave this one for now Let's look for something like this here, just around this level to come down with the rest of the yen pairs, but I'll stay away from this for now. Let's just look quickly on the daily on this one. Uh, so if you look at this one, this one may still be on its way up there. So even if it does pull back here, this, this could be making a one, two, three, four, and a five. Retest that top there. So let's see how that goes. So this is the pullback that I was looking at on the lower degree. So the trend here is up still. So CAD is still strong there. So you can see that the CAD yen is opposite to the rest of the yen pace. That's that happens. It could be driven by the CAD. Right. So that concludes all the yen pace. Let's look at silver and gold. Gold. I've already shown you the long term view, and we are now here in this corrective structure. Okay, so we're still waiting. We're looking into forecast when this is gonna complete. Let's have a look here on the four hour on gold and what we expect here. We've got the three wave pullback here. We've got an impulsive move here. So what we could be getting here in the green is this move down. Uh, that green should actually start from where the red starts. One, two, three, like that. So gold could come down up to that level, come back down here, and then push higher. We're still looking for that long term target to the upside. And I've shown you why we're looking for gold to do that. So what will this be? This will be a W. This will be your X in green, and then your Y. So that one could, could even. Do this here come down for one here before we push higher okay so whatever is happening here if you look on the daily there's nothing but a sideways corrective structure it's not going anywhere as i've shown so you can even make a case of a triangle here and a triangle is a continuation pattern let's have a look here on the four hour game let's show this here you can even make a case of a triangle one two three possible four here five before we go okay so it is not completed as yet it has not confirmed as yet so let's see how this goes so this is simply a sideways structure and then we look for upside all right uh, that is gold silver it's the same as well we're making a corrective structure here after the break uh, let's just have a look here what we looked at last week uh, we looked at this last week as a move down let's do it in red move down correcting the b wave and a move down here okay so silver could be ready to do this let's switch off here could be ready to push up higher like that Okay, this is all right. So silver, let's 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 do this again here. So silver has made that move, and we're expecting that this one could push up higher like that. So here we've got another corrective structure. Let's use this green here. We've got this one as a move down, push up, corrective structure could push up higher, come back down, and then start with the move to the upside. So here, what do you have? You've got a, a running flat in B here. So that gives you A, B, C structure, A, B, C. And then we look for this to be a continuation pattern and we go push to the upside. All right, so let's see how that plays out. What you need here is a corrective structure. See if we're gonna come here, 
come here and then push higher. It started with a three wave move to the upside. You could get a three wave move pullback and then a three wave move to the upside. Maybe even retest here and come back for one before we go. So it could be a while before we actually take off. While gold is making the triangle, this one could be making this uh, regular flat. So we are not going anywhere as yet, we're still going sideways. So this could be the one, two, three down here, one, two, three up, one, two, three down. Even if it's impulsive, it's still acceptable. It's just the labeling that's going to change. All right, so let's watch. No new trade here until those corrective structures are done. All right, so let's look at the pound pass. Pound pass, we don't sell pound pass. We're looking for continuation patterns to the downside. Why are we keep why do we keep selling pound chief? Pound chief from right at the top, uh, we've been looking at this as an expanding flat and it's been coming down since. Okay. Let's have a look here. This is your structure on pound chief. You see here, if you look at this here, you've got a move down here in three waves, a move up in three waves. Now we're looking for this simple. We've been selling chief from the top here. We've been selling chief from the top simply because we could see the structure. It was a simple structure. Three waves down, three waves pull back in an expanding flat fashion. It's exactly the same as pound US dollar and it's coming down here like this. Gives a very nice entry and it's, it keeps coming down. Is this going to reverse this area? I don't think so. I think what's going to happen now is we're going to get a deeper correction and after that correction it's going to continue to the downside. That's all you're looking for with the pound pass. Let's look at the four hour, but it's too late to, for you to be selling now here. So let's see if we get any corrective structures here. Okay, so during the week, we're even looking at a trade here for this to come down here. We look for this one to break down here, but it pulled back slightly, but I simply wanted it to come down here because there's a possibility that this can do this and drop. A regular flat, passing move A, corrective structure in three waves, and a passing move and then we drop. That's the continuation part. The same way you had an expanding flat here. Same way you had an expanding flat here. Okay. Same way you had a corrective structure here. Every time it makes these continuation patterns, you just sell them. You just sell it. Okay. From right at the top here. From right here. And we were looking at this in these videos, if you've been watching. Right. Pound New Zealand. Also looking for continuation patterns to the downside. If you look at pound, New Zealand, the structure, let's go to the daily as well. Three way move to the upside. Those that have been watching for a while, you remember that we sold here in the blue box, coming down here, pull back. All you're looking for now is continuation patterns to the downside. Okay. Are you getting a continuation pattern now? Let's have a look for hour or one hour. Okay. Doesn't look like it's coming down with an impulse here. You had a three wave pullback here. Looks like we've got an AB base pattern is coming down here. Uh, let's, let me do it clearly for you. On the one hour. So the one hour could be coming to retest this level here. You've got a move up here. Getting a move here. This could be a running flat there. And then you'll be looking to come and retest this here. Okay, if this is all the correction, this is going to make a correction here and keep going. Or retest here before it goes. A retest is always better because you get a new entry at the top. Better risk to reward. That is if you're not riding this already. Okay, so that is what that looks like. It is, looks like the, the move to the downside is so strong that it does not look like we're going to get this retest at the top. So all you look for now is if you get a continuation pattern, you keep selling it. Same way that you got a continuation pattern here and then you sold this one here. Okay, this one did not quite play out because it looks like it's making another corrective structure. So this could eventually start making what we like to call a V pattern in our group. And if it does this, could even make a three-way move and then we continue to the downside. So all you look for is continuation patterns to the downside. Pound Audi. Let's go back to the four hour. Pound Audi, got the trade here. Pull back here and then it broke here. Okay, there was an update here. 
another update last week, we keep dropping just like that. You're looking for downside. Why are we looking for downside? I've shown this pair for two whole years. Two whole years I've been looking at this pair. If you watch my videos for the past two years, we have just been building this corrective structure. Take a snapshot and see how we focused that and how we focused that it was gonna be the end here at the Z, the sequence end of the Z. So if you also check on some of my post on trading view, you'll find that we also traded this move to the upside here and a number of other moves internally here while we are busy building this structure. Now, if you look at this structure, I'll show you with the blue, that is a, follow the blue, W, X, Y, X, Z. Completed the Z and then we expected that this was gonna drop, same as this. Move, correction, and a move. Okay, so far it's going well. Let's see how this goes. We keep selling it. The same as, that's the reason why we saying we are not buying the pound pairs as yet. Let's go for our. You just look for continuation patterns to the downside. Pound cad. Daily. Okay, pound cat, we focused this corrective structure here, got this one here, and then just kept dropping from here. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking for this one to keep coming down. Okay. It is a little bit risky now to sell it at this stage. You need to get a very deep correction, not very something this size of this size, because that could be a one, a two, a three, and a four, and then maybe you get away five here before you get any sort of correction. Okay, so that is how CAD is going. All of these focused. This is why you're not selling the pound pairs. You've just been going with the trend. Look from from around February, from March, Feb February, March. It's just been the trend to the downside. And that's all the pound pairs, looking at Euro pound. Euro pound is just the opposite of what the other pound pairs are doing because this one has got a pound as a quoted pair. So let's look here. If you get a pullback here, it's simply continuous in pattern to the upside. Now also this one, we've been focusing this corrective structure from the last two years. And it is simply a three-way move down, a three-way move full back, and a three-way move down. After which we get a continuation of the pattern. It's a pulse, correction, and a pulse. Okay, so here's a little bit tricky because if you look at this here coming up, it may not come to this level in a straight line. What you could possibly get here is that you could find that, you could find that this structure here, one, two, three, this structure here, but because we can see the pound pass structure is clear, we don't expect this to do that and make this structure W, X, Y like that. We don't expect this. It is an alternative, but we don't expect it to happen because we got a clearer structure on the pound pass. So we expect that even if this one is gonna pull back, and I'm sure there's some divergence here. If you look, we'll look in the four hour for this one here. It is not a reversal. It will simply be a pullback. So let's, let's look at the four hour. We should have some divergence currently happening here. So from here, this has been making higher highs, higher highs. This one is making lower lows, lower lows. So that divergence can simply make a three-way move and that three-way move is simply going to be a continuation pattern for upside. Right, uh, that is the Euro pound. Let's look at Euro Audi. Euro Audi, Euro New Zealand we already looked at. Let's start with Euro New Zealand. So Euro New Zealand, we are dropping. There's a three-way move here. Three-way pullback, you keep coming down here like this. Keep selling, keep selling. Okay, last week, I think we only had a three-way pullback and I think we updated this in the group that it was gonna do this but it made a double, same as what happened with the USJPY, it makes a double. This should not scare you. 
when it is a correction, it will be, it will, it will drop. Okay. Whether it makes a double or a triple doesn't matter. So here in this case, when it makes a double and we've got a strategy to protect, I mean, to protect ourselves from this double and certain triple. One, two, three. What happens when you see this? You expect a continuation pattern to the downside, but it doesn't get, you don't get it. What happens if you don't get it? You get another one here like this. But by the time this actually does this, by the time this actually gets to this level, you already lost a couple of trades and you're almost giving up. And when you start giving up, then you actually it starts going to the direction that you're looking for. And there is a specific strategy to trade this without losing money, okay? Without losing money. So let's see, IBEX says a thousand pips. Let's see, maybe now we're on our way and no more deep pullbacks. Let's see how it goes. You should be in the trade safe and sound. Right, so that's Euro New Zealand. I've showed it on uh, trade setups. I'm gonna show you another structure. Uh, Euro Audi, you're simply following, you're simply following Euro New Zealand. Okay. Okay, let's see how that drops. Just follow Euro New Zealand. Let's show the daily as well on Euro Audi. Okay, simple. Sometimes you need to have a different perspective to see that because somebody may have been panicking when they were looking at this, looking at, thinking that this is a reversal. And you may, your, your expectations may be justified because that could have looked like an expanding flight as well. Okay, but you need to get confirmation. That's why over and above this, we need to have a strategy and the indicators that we use to eliminate the trades that are wrong. Right, so that is how this is coming down. You're looking for it to just continue with the Euro, with the Euro New Zealand. Okay, lastly, or not lastly, EuroCAD. EuroCAD, you looked at this, this is actually a triangle, simple triangle, okay. How come I don't have a, I don't have it labeled there. Simple triangle. If you remember when this, let's take this off. Remember, why? Well, just make note of this circle and where I'm taking it off. When this was coming down here, so a second, when this was coming down here, this is what we looked at. We looked at this to be coming down in three waves, like that. Pull back here, focus to this whole correction here. Now, when this was coming down here, I expected that we're gonna get this. You can see that, that I've not removed it since this analysis. Instead of getting a simple three-wave pullback, you're getting a move all the way down. But what does this make any difference? All I was showing you here is that you are going to get a corrective structure. What we don't know is which one. In this case, you got a triangle and then you're coming down. It's exactly the same thing, okay? That's why we focused at EuroCAD to drop. And even when this was happening, we looked at this initially to be doing that, to be doing a one, two, three there, and to come up here like that. But when you look at this, this structure would not have made sense. We don't have this structure. If you look at the yellow, we don't have a structure like that in the Elliott wave theory. So that's why we can eliminate structures that don't exist. We can eliminate setups that are right from wrongs because you've got rules and guidelines. So that's why we can eliminate this as a uh, B, complex B correction and a down. So now we eventually got the triangle and then we're looking for this to keep coming down. We're almost getting to the same, to this level here now. So watch when it gets to that level and we'll update from there. For now, in the next week, we still continue to the downside. That's EuroCAD, EuroChief. I don't need to say anything more about EuroChief. Let me switch off here. EuroChief, this is why I was showing you that Euro New Zealand is going to drop simply because of this. One, two, three. Where's Euro New Zealand now? Let me show you both structures here now. Let's bring Euro, Euro New Zealand as well. Let's show both of them on the same chart so you can see. I've shown this even before the drop on Euro New Zealand. 
So it's Euro Chief on the right on the left hand side. Let's look at Euro New Zealand on the sorry Euro Chief on the left hand side, Euro New Zealand on the right. Both daily. Both on the daily. And I also showed you Euro Chief before it happened, right? Go watch the previous videos. Euro Chief, when this was happening here, we expected this drop here, which we're getting because we had a pullback here. Same here, one, two, three. These trades don't come every day. When they do come, make a lot of money out of it. Look what is happening. Okay, remember where we said we wanted to sell? I wanted to sell it first here, that is for Euro because I knew that it was gonna come down. Did not happen, even if it didn't happen, I was so sure that we may get one pull push, pull back here and one push higher. What happens? Break the top and it's coming down. This is magic, it's the Elliott wave theory. Okay? It is the Elliott wave theory and that is how we're looking at this. Now you've already dropped a couple of hundred pips here from this top here. Where are we looking to go to? Minimum around about this level. It does not go down in a straight line. If you don't have the timing, you will see this go down a thousand pips and you will not have made a center of it and you may have even lost some money. So the timing is absolutely critical. Okay, let's go back now to Euro Chief and just update. So Euro Chief, you're just looking for continuation patterns as well. Just look for continuation patterns. So here you had a nice pullback here. The entry should have been here when you put this one here. Okay, now here's make, you're making another one here. But if you look at this one, it looks like it might do this one up before we drop. Okay, we're still looking for a drop. Okay, that is Euro Chief. Very simple. Okay, done with the Euros. Let's look at some of the cross pairs. Audi, New Zealand. Audi, New Zealand looks like it's coming down. This could be a leading diagonal, guys. Could be a leading diagonal. Let's give it a bit of more, let's give it a bit of time to give us more data. After the diagonal, it will give us a pullback like this. And then we start coming down here like that. Okay, let's just look at the higher degree structure here with the labelings. We're looking for this to come down here. My initial view was that this one will come down to this level here. I'll show you this maybe as we look at the trade here. For now, there isn't a trade but there's a reason why we're looking at this like that. Possibly come down here. Okay, this structure will make a lot more sense when if it comes down to this level. But for now, you, if you, as long as you don't have that pullback, uh, you don't take a trade here. Don't trade to take a trade here. Okay, we'll update the structure next week. Not clear at this stage. Let's look at AudiCAD. Audi CAD, higher degree. We are at a critical level here on Audi CAD because we are here now. It's not a support or resistance structure. If you start getting a continuation pattern here, you may get a pullback here. And then it, start, it keeps going like that. Okay, so let's just quickly look at the weekly chart on this one. The trend is still down here. Let's see, even if you get a bit of a pullback here, it will just be something like this. It will still come down. Okay, so no new trade there, no, no, no setup there. But what we're looking for here is for this to do this one, two, and the three. Okay, so it's, you don't wanna be selling at this, po at this point here, even if it's gonna push a little bit lower. Switch off here. Very simple structure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like it's completing its way five here in the lower degree. That's Audi CAD. New Zealand CAD. So New Zealand CAD was one of the trades in the weekly. So this one should give us a bit of a corrective structure here. This is a weekly chart, so this corrective structure must be very big in the lower degree. Let's go daily. Oh, 
or not very big, relatively big, because very big doesn't mean anything. Right, so this could be making a V pattern here. We get that here. So it looks like it is at a 78 or a 61% Fibonacci here. Let's just quickly check here, the retracement here. It is at a 61%, so the 61%, we may get a reaction from there a three-wave pullback, and then a continuation pattern to the downside. Let's see. Let's see if we're getting any divergence. If there is divergence. It's making low lows, lower lows. We're starting to make this move. So let's see how that plays out for now. We'll update the structure and when we get that pullback. We don't trade this pullback, we wait for it to continue downside up to this level. No new trade, we'll update as it goes. New Zealand Chief. New Zealand Chief. You're getting this one here. We've made this structure here. Let's switch off here. In the higher degree, we've made a one, two, three. Okay, that is the structure and the push to the upside like that. We're correcting. This correction may be a little bit deeper, move up. I believe this is still gonna continue to the downside. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Let's just wait for this correction to complete. New Zealand CAD, we looked at a trade here. I think we've already looked at this. Or I think it was, it was chief. So this one also, you can see that it's at a 61% of this move. I think this one is a little bit deeper, but that's okay. 61, 78, that's fine. Making a V pattern here might make a pullback like that and drop. Audi Chief. Now looking at Audi Chief. Let's look at this uh, passing move. I don't believe this is a reversal. Could make a corrective structure, a pullback, and then continuation pattern to the downside. Right, lastly, oil. Oil short term, we've got one, two, three, four, five here. That tells you that you've got a, what tells, what this tells you that is that you've got a passing move here. You had a passing move there. So you're not getting any corrective structure at this point. You've got another passing move here. You've got another one here. So. You have not gotten any corrective structure up until this point. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So if that is the case, at some point here, you need to get, you need to get a corrective structure. You need to get a, another move to the, not in that color. You need to get another move to the upside. Maybe retest there. Then your green comes back down. Then you get your purple. Uh, Where's that purple? Uh, I can't remember which purple that was. Was it this one? Okay, there we go. Then you get that yellow. This one here. See? So long term, you can have a number of trades here on oil. So for now, we're looking at this on the weekly. Let's expect a sideways correction here to correct this five-wave move. Then we'll update as this after this completes to go and retest the top there. Okay, let's look at the lower time frame. Looks like there's still gonna be a bit of a push to the upside in the short term. There we go. So this one is still gonna push higher, even if it's just about like that. Then we get a bit a deeper corrective structure. All right, guys, that's all I heard for you this week. Good luck. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos. Thank you very much. See you next week. A good one. Cheers, bye-bye.